Hello, welcome to your pelvic floor yoga class today. I am so excited to lead you through this class. The pelvic floor muscles that support all of our lower organs, it works directly connected to your diaphragm, so your breathing is very important to be able to connect to your pelvic floor and have a healthy and functional pelvic floor. So we're gonna do a breathing exercise today. We're gonna do a couple other um, exercises that'll help you strengthen some supporting muscles of the pelvic floor and stretch it out. So we are gonna use all the props. Make sure that you have a bolster if you have one, a rolled up blanket works as well. Grab a pillow or another blanket and then yoga blocks. If you don't have yoga blocks, you can use a stool or a bench or anything that's supportive for you. We are gonna begin in the breathing exercise and I'm gonna have you lay down on your back. So if you are currently pregnant and doing this um, this class, I would recommend stacking up a couple pillows so that you're not laying completely flat. Just have um, a surface underneath you so that you can pay attention to breath. So go ahead and put a pillow or a blanket under here for your head and then grab onto a rolled up blanket or a bolster if you have it or even another pillow. And we're gonna place it here for our legs. Go ahead and lay down on your back Adjust yourself however you need to. And then if it's comfortable for you, close your eyes. Or if you just wanna soften your gaze by looking down or gently shutting them. We're gonna begin with our hands on our chest, right between our collarbone and our breastbone, wherever feels most comfortable for you. And just allow your breath to flow naturally, not trying to change, adjust, or restrict it in any way. Just notice the natural inhales and exhales. And notice your lungs filling up with air as you inhale, your chest expanding in all directions. And then as you exhale, your chest retracts and your lungs contract. Focusing on your inhale, do you notice that your lungs are expanding evenly? Do you feel any restriction from one side over the other? Now moving your hands down to your belly, just around your navel. Try to expand your breath a little further down. And notice how far down your breath is able to go. Noticing all the sensations in your belly and lower back. Can you sense your breath in your pubic bone area? Now allowing your hands to rest down on the ground and try to press your breath into your limbs, focusing on your fingers and toes. Do you notice any difference on the effect of your body between your inhales 
and your exhales. Now fill up your entire body with your breath. Does your breath move smoothly through your body? Or does it feel obstructed? Can you tell if it feels forced in any areas? What do you notice when you do this whole body breath? Was there a common theme from one side to the other? On your next inhale, take those arms up overhead and a good morning stretch. For this next pose, we're going to remove your props from underneath your legs. Make sure that you are lying flat on your back. We're going to do an exercise called butt ups. <laughs> and this exercise is going to help you determine if you're having any areas of weakness in your glutes. And if so, it can also help strengthen those areas of weakness. This is a great exercise. Um, it, it might be more beneficial if you are pregnant to do it after pregnancy, because then you can really assess and support those muscles that need to be strengthened. And it's super important to have strong glutes so that we can support the rest of our body, that we can have a functioning pelvic floor and um, so this is going to be really important to do as part of your practice. So go ahead and come onto your back. What we're going to do is bend our elbows. Palms are going to be facing each other, fingertips towards the ceiling. Go ahead and lift your left leg towards the ceiling. You're going to flex your foot so that your foot is flat to the ceiling. If you need to bend your knees because you have tight hamstrings, that's absolutely okay. Press your left arm into the mat as you squeeze your right glute and lift your left foot towards the ceiling. Inhale, release your bottom to the ground. Exhale, lift up, squeeze your right glute. Inhale, relax. We're going to do eight of these. So that's three, four, five, six, seven and eight now just notice if this glute is firing if it's activating your leg is going to want to wobble so try to minimize that and you might not get that much of a lift and that's totally okay you can work towards lifting up higher switch to the other side right leg is going to come to the ceiling flex your foot press the right elbow into the ground as you lift your right foot towards the ceiling squeeze your left glute it's going to roll to the outer edge that's how it's supposed to happen so inhale, exhale, lift your right foot to the ceiling, roll towards the outer edge of your left glute. Right elbow is here to stabilize you. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight good job go ahead and bring those feet down and just notice if you felt any difference from side to side if maybe one side wasn't firing or if you were even unable to lift that foot towards the ceiling let your feet come into the mat your knees can windshield wiper from side to side and then we're going to go ahead and grab onto a yoga block or you can use a pillow if you don't have a yoga block and place that block between your thighs. Feet are still in the mat, taking your feet a little bit closer 
to your bottom. Palms are gonna be down um, along your sides and go ahead and squeeze your shoulder blades together just slightly as you puff your chest to the ceiling. Take a deep inhale in and then on the exhale, lift the hips to the ceiling, squeeze your thighs into the yoga block. So now we're actively, exhale, release the hips down. Actively strengthening our pelvic floor and our glutes at the same time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, roll down. Having the block between the thighs also helps us keep our proper alignment. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift and exhale release now go ahead and exaggerate that release so you're rolling all the way down to the bottom of your tailbone and then press your lower back scoop your tailbone lift the hips to the ceiling just like that we'll keep going so now we're working on stretching and strengthening the pelvic floor working on proper alignment strengthening the glutes Two more times, just like this. One and two, hold here. Press into the heels, big toes are staying grounded into the mat for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, let those hips come down. Remove the prop, set it off to the side. And then go ahead and take your knees, hug them into your chest or your sides if you have a nice belly in the way and maybe roll from side to side. All right, place the feet into the mat, roll over to one side and push yourself up. All right, come to your hands and your knees. We're coming to tabletop position. So stacking the wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Spread those fingers out wide. Press the palms into the ground. And then keeping your spine exactly where it is, your hips exactly where they are. Inhale, let the belly relax down towards the ground. Exhale, squeeze the core all the way around. Belly button comes to the back of the spine. Ribs are knitting in together. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze. Using your breath to guide your pace. Working our deepest core muscle with proper breathing. And just notice as you inhale, if your pelvic floor releases and expands, and then as you exhale, maybe there's a tight tug in, tight, a little squeeze. Moving right into cat cow. So then on your inhale, belly relaxes, lift your gaze, lift your chest, lift your tailbone if it feels good. And then exhale, tuck your chin, round your back, give your core a squeeze and tuck your tailbone. Again, only if it feels good. It, if it's all connected, it runs from our tongue to our anus and it is truly our energy of life. So if you notice, maybe you are always tight in your right shoulder blade or neck area. More than likely, you're, all, you're always tight in the right side of your pelvic floor as well. All right, go ahead and grab onto your yoga blocks. We're just gonna place them in front of us here. You can use them for this first move if you'd like and just place your hands here, just making the ground come up to you a little bit closer. Otherwise, you can just place them up in the front and then the hands will come a little bit further in front of your shoulders. And we're gonna begin hip circles. So inhaling, your hips are gonna come down, your chest comes forward, come to the opposite side, exhale, release back, release through your pelvic floor, hips come back, and then you go to the other side. So we're doing little circles on the mat with our navel, well, big circles this time, and rolling through our hips. Inhale, our pelvic floor is contracting as it stabilizes us and we move forward, strengthening our core and our pelvic floor. And then exhale, it's stretching and releasing through the pelvic floor. 
And as you go from side to side, as your hips go from one side to the next, you're also stretching that side of the pelvic floor. Go ahead and switch directions if you haven't already. Come to your neutral position. Inhale, come all the way up to kneeling. And now we're gonna take our hips, hands to our hips or the belly if you have are a little beautiful baby in there and then begin hip circles in a kneeling position. So same concept, we are still contracting as our hips press forward, stretching our side, exhale, releasing back and stretching, releasing through the pelvic floor and then stretching our opposite side. and then switch directions. And in return, we're also stretching the hips and the pelvis and creating mo movement and mobility in your hips and pelvis. All right, now coming down onto your hands, grabbing onto your blocks, if you have them. If you don't, that's okay also. Take them to the left side of your mat and then your yoga block or hands to your blocks. Right foot is gonna come to the outer edge of the right side of your mat. And we're gonna begin hip circles in this position now. So that right foot should be out further, creating space for your hips and your pelvis. As you lunge down, or lunge forward, your hips are gonna release down and stretch, and then exhale, your hips come back, and release and let go through the pelvic floor. So now we're stretching that inner thigh that can become tight as the pelvic floor becomes tight as well, or vice versa, the inner thigh becomes tight, the pelvic floor becomes tight, um, and there's plenty of multiple reasons that could be the reason why you might have a pelvic floor or a loose pelvic floor. Some being society, some being the way that you might have been brought up. Just We carry so much emotional um, stress and hold so much tension in our pelvic floor. It's more than likely you have some tightness in some area, um, even if you are experiencing a loose pelvic floor dysfunction like incontinence or anything like that that um, comes along with a loose pelvic floor. But we need to have a functioning pelvic floor. So we need a pelvic floor that's able to do both tightening and loosening and letting go. Go ahead and switch your directions if you haven't already. So like I mentioned earlier in the class that we notice tightness in our neck and our shoulders, um, we'll notice tightness in our pelvic floor because we hold stress in our body and sometimes we don't even notice that we're holding the stress in our body um, and it shows up in those tightness, in those tight areas. So as you're moving through some of these stretches today and these poses, maybe sometimes emotions come up as things are being released and let go. And that's absolutely okay. Just accept those emotions, embrace them. And if it becomes too much, back off. Go ahead and toe heel that foot into center. We're gonna take these blocks to frame the front foot. Tuck your back toe, lift the back knee off the mat, and then we're gonna step that foot in about half the distance and turn that left foot off to an angle so that we're in pyramid pose. So right foot is pointed towards the front of the mat, left foot is off at a 45 degree angle, right hip is peeling back, and then shift that right that weight into that front foot and just notice how that kind of evens out your, um, your hips. So if you don't have blocks here or a chair or anything to put your hands on, you can also put them on your hips if that's a little more comfortable for you. Take a few moments to breathe here. So most of our weight is going to be in our front foot. 
You're pressing down in through your heel, and the more you do that, the more you can lift up through the pelvic floor and the perineum. From here, we're gonna move the props off to the front of the mat, place your hands onto the ground, and step back to high plank position. Wrists are under shoulders. If you need to, you can drop down to your knees. Hips are pressing down. Lift up your feet if you can. Otherwise, come up to high plank position. You're squeezing your core. You're continuing to breathe. Great pose for prolapse if you experience any prolapse from birth or whatever reason. So hold for five, four, three, two, one. If you don't have those knees down, drop them down. And then we're gonna shift our hips back so that they're stacked directly over the knees. And we're gonna extend the arms out towards the top of the mat and exhale chest and forehead come down to the mat. If you can't get your head all the way down, you can use a yoga block and place your head on a block or a pillow. I just want you to make sure that your hips stay right over your knees and then try to tighten your lower core and just notice how that protects or maybe affects the um, your lower back. And now let's take our focus to the pelvic floor. So this is a pelvic floor stretch. So we don't wanna be clenching or holding on. So notice if you are clenching, if you are, try to release and let go. But this is also a great pose to kind of connect to the pelvic floor because you're in a passive pose that doesn't, that just doesn't allow anything else but the pelvic floor to really move. So maybe you wanna take a couple squeezes and tighten through the pelvic floor. Imagine all four corners of your pelvic floor lifting up and in to your body as you're um, squeezing the front, the back, the side to side. Just a few more breaths. Go ahead and place those palms underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up. Maybe you want to rock your hips from side to side, just moving out any stagnant energy that built up. And now we are going to go ahead and grab onto those yoga blocks again and place them on the right side of the mat. Hands come to the blocks, and this time the left leg comes to the outer edge. And begin your hip circles. Inhale, hips come forward and press down exhale hips release back and you let go through the pelvic floor just a great pose to gently open up the hips open up through the inner thighs massage those areas and now that we've stretched out that other side just notice if this side is feeling a little bit more tighter. And you can switch directions if you haven't already. We're always using our breath with our movement so that we're working together with our diaphragm. Um, we're working together with our whole core system and our body so that it can move and support you in a way that it, it should be and it can function the proper way. So pay close attention to your movement as you inhale and you exhale and making sure that you're connecting that movement together. 
Just a couple more here. And then go ahead and toe heel the foot to center. You're gonna take those blocks, frame your front foot. Tuck your back toe, lift your back knee off the mat, and then step that foot up half that distance, turning the back foot to a 45 degree angle. Front foot is pointed towards the front of the mat. Go ahead and shift your left hip back as your right hip comes forward to make them even, and then weight into your front foot, pressing your front heel into the mat, lifting up through your thigh, tightening through the pelvic floor. So like I mentioned, it's all connected um, and we really need to connect our feet to our inner thighs and in through our pelvic floor. So pressing that heel into the mat is also building that connection from your feet to your pelvic floor. And then go ahead and step your feet side by side at the top of the mat. Move those blocks. Your feet can come a little bit wider and roll up one vertebrae at a time. And then we are gonna make sure that we have one of these blocks for this next move. So go ahead and grab onto that. We're gonna take our feet wide. The toes are gonna be parallel or slightly turned in. Go ahead and take a deep inhale in. And then on your exhale, we're gonna forward fold, lead with your chest. Let that block come to the mat or to the ground, and then hands are gonna come to the block. I would really like you to have a flat back, so if you, need, if you don't have a block, you can use a prop like a couch or a chair. And again, this is a pelvic floor stretch, so we really wanna be stretching and releasing into the pelvic floor. Rolling upper thighs in just slightly. Weight's gonna be in the balls of your feet for this one, so you should be really light on your heels. Might be getting a little calf stretch along with this. Go ahead and bend your knees and step up. So now we are gonna come back down to the floor, do a couple more stretches. If you are pregnant again, make sure that you stack up a few pillows to lay back on so that you're not flat on your back if you're past your first trimester, that is. You can move your props off to the side this time. And then when you're ready, come onto your side and then roll onto your back. begin with, we're going to take our right knee into our chest or to your side and then extend your left leg out. I like to bring a little bit of feet movement into your, maybe roll my ankles or pointer flex my, my foot. And then when you're ready, grab onto your ankle or the outside arch of your right foot. Your right foot is gonna go flat to the ceiling as you press your right knee into the ground. So it's right alongside your chest, or if you can get it that far down. Your left leg can extend out. You can keep it bent if you need to. And you can even let that bent knee open to the side. But I really want you to be focusing on pressing the lower sacrum into the mat, so that's that flat part of your lower spine. So press the sacrum into the mat.
on your next inhale let that knee come back into your chest give it a squeeze and then place that right foot onto the mat left foot or knee is going to come into your chest or your side hug the knee into your chest bring in that movement into your ankle or foot And then go ahead and grab onto your left ankle or outer edge of your left foot, whichever one you can do. Foot comes flat to the ceiling, press the left knee towards the ground, and then find whichever variation for your right leg that feels best, making sure that the sacrum or the weight is mostly in the sacrum. Foot comes down, this time both knees hug into the chest and you know we, where we are headed. So when you're ready, we're gonna go to full happy baby, grabbing onto your feet. And I like to bring movement into the full happy baby. So go ahead and rock if it feels good or if your body's asking for stillness, you can just honor that as well. Maybe you wanna kick a foot out as you rock into that side. Really just make this <laughs> your own make it feel good for you. And come back to center, drop those feet onto the mat, roll over to your side and push yourself up. We are going to finish with one final pose. We're gonna need all the props for this one. So go ahead and grab onto your bolster or your pillow and another pillow or a blanket and your yoga blocks. So your pillow is gonna go down towards uh, along the center of the mat, yoga blocks on either side. And then we're gonna place a pillow or that folded up blanket underneath your bottom on top of your um, calves and you might need to do a couple blankets if you um, need that support so go ahead and take your knees wide and our, our toes are going to be closer or a little bit separated here for this one and then let your hands come to your yoga blocks as your chest comes down to your pillow to support you your head can go to either side that feels best on your neck and what we're doing, we're doing a really supportive child's pose here. So you're in a way where your pelvis can't curl under and we're really relaxing and stretching and releasing through the pelvic floor in this supported modified child's pose. So go ahead and close your eyes if it feels good. With each inhale, invite your breath into your sacrum and pelvic floor. And then with each exhale, visualize the tension releasing. Just a few more breaths here. Feel free to stay in the supported stretch as long as you would like. And when you're ready, gently flutter your eyes open. Slowly press your palms into the ground and push yourself up. Thank you for joining me in class today.